The Modigliani-Miller propositions are used to explain the relationship between capital structure and the value of a company. We will look at propositions 1 and 2, first without taxes and then with taxes. The first proposition when there are no taxes states that the market value of a company is not affected by its capital structure. However, for this to be true, the following five assumptions must be met. All investors must have the same expectations about the firm's future cash flows. Capital markets must be perfect. Borrowing and lending must happen at the risk-free rate. There must be no agency costs and financing and investment decisions must be independent. If all of these assumptions are true, the value of a levered firm is exactly the same as an unlevered firm because the choice of capital structure has no effect on the value of the company. The reason why is explained by proposition number two. Under this proposition, the firm's weighted average cost of capital is equal to the weight of debt times the cost of debt plus the weight of equity times the cost of equity. Notice that the value can be found by adding total debt and total equity. Here's what happens. As the firm takes on more debt, it becomes riskier, so its cost of equity increases. However, the proposition states that the increase in the cost of equity is entirely offset by the fact that the firm now holds more debt which is cheaper than equity. So overall, the WAC remains constant and the value of the firm also remains constant. In other words, we can say that the cost of equity is a linear function of the company's debt to equity ratio. But changing the capital structure will not change the WAC, which is why the value of the firm is not affected by the capital structure. For more videos like these, go to wallstreetnotes.com and master the entire CFA curriculum by watching simple animated videos.